Welcome back to iClone3D.com, the number one place for all your animation needs. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna be looking at the Perception Neuron mocap suit and how we can create all of our animations inside of the Axis Studio software, and then how we can convert those and translate them over to iClone 8 using an amazing plugin that you can pick up off Reillusion today. Now, this is a game changer, guys, because it's really gonna allow you to get all of your Perception Neuron mocap data over into Reillusion's iClone 8 in real time. So without further ado, let's crack on with today's tutorial. And just before we dive in, I just wanna let you guys know that my iClone 8 Masterclass in Animation course is now available on my website, www.iclone3d.com, where you can find hundreds of tutorials that are dedicated to making you guys elite level animators. You can check out some of the modules before you sign up and see exactly what videos are coming in that course and what you are gonna learn. Now, just to mention, it is an evolving course as well, so we will be adding new content regularly to the course and updating it, and your feedback is extremely important to me, so you guys do have a say in this. When you sign up, you can actually request specific tutorials that will be made and added to the relevant modules. So whatever you guys wanna see, just drop me an email or comment in our community tab on my website and we will add those relevant courses to the modules. So you can see here, I'm currently in the Axis Studio software. Now you do get this software free when you purchase a Perception Neuron mocap suit. And you know, there's no kind of monthly costs such as the XN suit where you've got to pay yearly fees that are incredibly high to own an XN suit. With the Perception Neuron, you actually get the software for free for life. Now I'm gonna play back this motion clip that we've got inside of the Axis Studio. And it's just a, a cool piece of motion you can see here of our character kind of waving our hands and moving about in the scene. And this was created directly inside of Axis Studio using the Perception Neuron Studio suit. So you can just see how realistic the motion is, how lifelike it is, and how awesome that suit really generates mocap data. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how we can actually get this motion directly inside of iClone 8 in real time using the incredible plugin that we can pick up off of Reillusion. So let's head over to the Reillusion store and grab that plugin. So when you're on the Reillusion site, what we wanna do is we wanna get the mocap profile for Perception Neuron. So the way we're gonna find this is you wanna come up to your stores section here and we wanna go to our software store. And then when we're in the software store, all we wanna do is we wanna come up to our products and we're gonna look for the add-ons for iClone 8, and we're gonna come down here to all mocap profiles. So we'll click on this, and that's gonna take us to this page where we can now see we've got the mocap profile. So we're just gonna click here where we select that, and now you can see here, we've got the Perception Neuron profile, and it costs $699, and it is really worth every penny, because you're gonna see how it gets all of the motions that we've created inside of Axis Studio straight into iClone 8. So you wanna go ahead and pick up this Perception Neuron profile, and once you've got that, you can install it directly into iClone. So then what we wanna do is we wanna head back into Axis Studio so we can start to actually set up the profile so we can actually transfer it over into iClone. So once you're back in Axis Studio, you wanna go up to these three tabs up here, these three little lines, and we're gonna click on that and we're gonna go into our settings. Now it's very important in the settings tab that we go into our BVH broadcasting and we activate the BVH edit. So we're gonna click on this little button here and that's gonna turn that blue. And this now means it's activated and set up for us to actually stream over into iClone. Now the last part that we need to do is down here with the local address. You just wanna make note of this IP number here, which is 127.0.0.1, because we're gonna to need to copy this number over into the Motion Live section in iClone 8. We're also gonna to need to copy over the end port number here, which is 7001. So once you've made a note of these two numbers, we just wanna click on the OK button to ensure that that's selected for streaming over into iClone. Now heading back into iClone, you just wanna make sure your character is selected. 
and we're gonna go up to the animation tab and we're gonna scroll down to the motion lav section. Now when we open this up, you're gonna see underneath the body, we've got that perception neuron mocap profile now installed. We've also got the mocap profile for the hands in case you've got the gloves for the suit. So you can install both of those from that one plugin. And now what we need to do is we just need to change the IP address over here. And we're gonna just change this to the exact same as what is in Axis Studio. So we're gonna do 127.0.01. We're gonna delete the 22 and we're gonna leave the port number as 7001. Now, once we click on the connect button here, you're gonna see that turns green and that tells us it's all been set up and linked directly to the Axis Studio. Now, finally, we just wanna come down to the body section and we wanna click on this little triangle here and we wanna select perception neuron body. And that's gonna also be check marked, telling us we're now ready to live stream. So just before we do the live stream, let's take a quick look at the panel over here on the right side. You can see we've got a couple of different things. We've got our position and it's currently set to iClone. Now what this means is that when we actually live stream the data from Axis Studio into iClone, it's gonna adopt the position the character is currently set in. So as you can see, I've got my character at the root 000 origin. So you can leave it at that. And when we live stream over, it's gonna keep the character in this exact position. Now, if you wanted to change that position and you wanted to bring in the position from Axis Studio, you can select the mocap data selection here, and that's gonna then position it wherever the character's positioned in Axis Studio. Now, of course, I like to leave it on iClone so we can guarantee it's at the root 00 origin, which is gonna make your workflows much easier and much smoother. Now below this section, we've got our mask out section where you can actually mask out different body parts by turning them on or off. And that's just gonna allow you to do some really nice blending of motions. If for example, you wanted to blend some motion from Axis Studio over into iClone with some preset motions in iClone, you can use the mask tool to blend the two motions together. But in this instance, we're gonna leave the full body activated and we're gonna actually transcend the motion from Axis Studio directly onto our character in iClone 8. And finally, you've got your mirror and hip position lock, which you can leave unchecked for this tutorial. And we'll look at these different functions a little bit later in another tutorial. We'll also look a bit more in detail at how to blend two different motions together as well. But for now, everything's set up and we are now ready to actually stream the data from Axis Studio directly into iClone 8. So let's look at how we do that. So now what we want to do is we want to head back into Axis Studio. And what we're gonna do from here is we're actually gonna live stream this motion directly into iClone. And the way we do that is by actually playing back the motion in real time in Axis Studio, and then we're gonna record it directly into iClone. So the best thing to do is to actually minimize this screen. And then we're just gonna move it over a little bit here just enough so we can see our play button down here. And then what we wanna do is, so we don't actually miss any frames when we start recording, we first wanna go into iClone and we're gonna hit our record button and then we're gonna press the space key to actually start recording that. And now what we can do is we can open up Axis Studio and we can press the play button here and you're gonna see in just a second, that's live streaming all that motion directly into iClone as you can see here. So really, really phenomenal plugin that allows you to get your motion that you create in Axis Studio directly into iClone by live streaming it. And once that's finished recording, we can press the space bar again. And now we can go in our timeline and you can see down here, we've got our motion recorded. So I'm just gonna close out Motion Live and you can see we've got all of our motion recorded directly into iClone. And again, we can play this back and you can see how awesome this looks, guys. You know, this was recorded on the Perception Neuron Studio suit and you can just see how lifelike and how realistic that is. It looks phenomenal and, you know, really, really awesome animation. So this is a game changer, guys. It really is gonna allow you to actually create all of your motions with your mocap inside of Axis Studio and get it directly into iClone just by using that plugin. So really, really awesome way you can do that just by picking up this plugin today off Reillusion and have that set up within a few minutes. Now, I really hope this tutorial helped. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel 
to see more awesome content that's coming soon. Really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.